I was, my knees were shaking, my legs, my, my back was shaking, my arms were shaking. And I did cry. Start, I put my glasses on because I, I didn't want to see, I didn't want people to see me crying maybe, I don't know, but I, I felt more uh, protected. Really proud of myself because this time I really struggled with like blisters and sore feet, so. Everyone is letting, or is, is preparing you for you know, you're gonna cry and it's gonna be amazing. And um, I think hearing that a lot gave me an expectation. Hi, we are Eric and Ricky. We not only walk Camino de Santiago, but we also help others in the preparation and ask them important questions. Today we'll ask, what did you feel when you finally arrived in Santiago and finished the Camino? Finally. <laughs> no, it's just, um, it's, you, you sit there, you see the church and, and you, feel, you, you feel just happy that you, that you reach what you, what you just worked for, you know, like, and, and, and what, you, what you wanted to do and where you want to go. But um, I'm not a very religious person, but for me, there is something also in walking from Santiago to the ocean again because that's for me the final end of the journey, you know, walking through a whole country, seeing the ocean and maybe feel like the people in the Middle Ages who just saw the ocean and then um, think that this must be the end of the world. So on my way in this morning, I'm asking, my, like, okay, well, am I going to cry? And if I don't cry, is something going to be wrong with me? And so I was like, have these build up in my head and I'm trying to just get it out of my mind, listen and, you know, instrumental music and just push it away and just have whatever experience I needed to have and um, when I was looking into the city from the hilltop just outside the city looking at the towers I they looked so big from a distance and so when I came and turned the corner I was like it, am I in the right place is this like oh my god let me check my map really quick and make sure I'm in the right place and it was like oh my god okay I made it, okay. And then I was like, I'm not crying. But then like I sat down and I just started reminiscing of like where I started, when I started, how I felt like just going through all of it. And then it hit me like that your physical journey is done for your first Camino. And I was sad but also filled with joy because I feel like my spiritual and mental journey has truly just begun. The first thought was it's too hot. It's, I don't know, between 32, 35 degrees. And it was a little bit crowded. Um, but uh, I was happy that I did it. Like, I don't have impression that I walked for so long, like for me, more than two weeks is a long time. Um, and it passed so quickly. Um, so I still need to think about it. Like, I'm a little bit surprised that I'm already here. Is it entering the square, entering Santiago was different than walking the Camino itself? Did you feel the difference in mood and emotions? And Yes, I felt more happy being on the road and walking than arriving here. Like, yeah, I would like to come back on the road and just walk <laughs> again. So, um, yes, I feel like the most of the people enjoy coming to the end, but um, I enjoyed even more walking, yeah. I was really excited to hear the, the, um, the bagpipe player. So I had this like, you know, a rush. I started crying since last night, um, just thinking about the excitement to arrive, but the sadness that it's going, you know, that it's over. Um, so yeah, mostly excited and then a little sad and actually incredibly grateful to uh, meet up with some friends that I haven't seen in a few days who were here. So that was really exciting. And then running into you and in the square, which is completely unexpected. I can't, I still can't believe it, but uh, I've been here for uh, uh, about five hours. I was in, in a bit of hurry to reach the pilgrim's mass from 12, 
and I, I looked around only after that. But I'm starting to understand that it's, the way was the, was the point and the most important. Of course, it is good to arrive here, but uh, all those experiences and people and faces and places and the nature and the forests and the mountains. What I did, started getting closer, seeing the cathedral and stuff. So once I arrived, you can get distracted by people as well, because you see people around you that you've seen before and you see their reactions and stuff and you're like, oh, she's excited. So then really quickly I realized that and I'm like, because this is my way of being in most situations, I'm like, this is my moment, right? And it's a moment with, I don't know, with God, with my faith, with myself, whatever, right? But not with seeing something else or whatever. It, the, I'm arriving to Santiago, right? And Maybe I can watch the cathedral and be mesmerized by the architecture, but I, it's to me it's more like connecting with that internal world, you know, that part. And I did cry. Start, I put my glasses on because I, I didn't want to see, I didn't want people to see me crying maybe, I don't know, but I, I felt more uh, protected somehow. To be honest, uh, I felt proud that I made it. But I also felt a little sad. I met a really great Portuguese guy on the way. We made like 100 kilometers together. We made a really strong connection. Like uh, we were talking constantly, laughing. It was amazing. And a uh, couple of days before Camino, we, we had to part ways because we had different plans. Uh, however, I was a little bit sad because I wished I would have entered the plaza with him. And he, he was in, uh, in Santiago yesterday and he texted me that uh, like it was a little bit sad that uh, I wasn't there. But I'm glad I met him on the way and I probably will meet him on some future coming. <laughs> so now when you sit on the square in front of the cathedral, what is the feeling that you have inside? I'm already planning my next. <laughs> it was uh, not so important and not so deep for me because um, every little step to come here were more, 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 more important uh, for me. Santiago was uh, not the, the goal, not the, the end of something. It was just uh, in the middle. I, 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 I don't know how to explain it, but uh, during the Camino, I've experienced the more uh, deepest uh, emotions. Uh, uh. I felt really happy, I felt, felt Really proud of myself because this time I really struggled with like blisters and sore feet. So yeah, I had moments I was just like really down and asking myself like, why am I doing this? Why I'm not just lying on a beach like a normal person would <laughs> during the summer <laughs> vacation? So yeah, I felt really, really good that I finished it, that I didn't take a bus or you know on some way just to make it shorter. Yeah. How is the moment of arriving to the square? How did you feel? Could you describe the emotions? Yeah. I can describe how it was before. We, we walked very slowly. Actually, we didn't want to come in. <laughs> we wanted to stay. So the, for us, the way was more and the experience and coming in. But it was, it was uh, I don't know the English word, but chilled. It was like, uh, yeah, chills, like, yeah, yeah. It was like that coming through the the gate. It was, wow! Now we're here. Wow! <laughs> it was, uh, and yeah, it was a chilly moment. Mm -hmm. I must say. Will you remember this moment for a long yeah, time? I will, and I will remember the feeling before that I didn't want to come. I didn't want to I ever wanted to stay on the way, mm. just, just moving.
the riding to Santiago for you. Oh, it was fulfilling. I mean, I broke down. I broke. I was. My knees were shaking. My legs. My my back was shaking. My arms were shaking. I was crying, of course, like a lot of people. It was an emotional moment. I was staying in the present, but I couldn't help but reflect on what got us there. And it, was, it wasn't the Camino that I planned, but I honestly believe I got a lot more out of it than I, than I would have otherwise. We met hundreds of people. We contacted hundreds of people. We were connected to hundreds of people. And I don't use the word hundreds lightly, at least two, 250 people over the course of 30 days that we came into contact with. Mm -hmm. and, and it was evident here in the plaza how many people we knew and came up to us and, and uh, yeah, very fulfilling. And I just sat by myself, you know, and just uh, being present, feeling the moment and I was like, okay, that's it. And my, my thought was like, I knew it, like, it, it was never about getting here. Um, Hearing those inspiring stories, you might be feeling motivated to start your Camino journey. Before you embark, consider joining us on a special retreat that is designed to prepare you both physically and mentally. Our retreat offers personal guidance, expert advice, and a supportive community to ensure you're ready for adventure ahead. Sign up to secure your spot and start your Camino with confidence. Click the link below to learn more and register for our pre-Camino retreat. Don't miss this opportunity to make your Camino experience truly unforgettable.